today we're going to learn how to tell times in English. Look at the clock. There are 12 numbers on the clock face. To read the hours, we use an hour hand. In one hour, an hour hand travels one section from one number to the next. From 12 to 1, from 1 to 2, from 2 to 3, and so on. It takes 12 hours to make a full circle around the clock. But because a day has 24 hours, every day the hour hand has to travel around the clock twice. It makes a full 12 hour circle before noon and another full 12 hour circle after noon. We call these circles AM and PM. Let's see how it works. This is the 24 hour timeline of a day. The day starts at midnight when the hour hand points at 12. So midnight is 12 a.m. One hour later is 1 a.m. Then 2 a.m., 3 a.m., and so on, until it makes the first full circle for the day and returns back to 12. But now it's not midnight. It's noon, 12 p.m. One hour later, it's 1 p.m. Then 2 p.m., 3 p.m., and so on, until the hour hand finishes the second circle. It's midnight again, and another day begins. To tell the minutes, we use a longer minute hand, but reading minutes takes a little more practice. One hour has 60 minutes, but we only have 12 sections on the clock. So how do we read the minutes? If we divide 60 by 12, we get 5. It means it takes 5 minutes for the minute hand to travel from one section to the next. Do you remember how you learned to skip count in math class? Skip counting by five means counting every fifth number. Zero, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and so on until we reach zero minutes of the next hour. In the morning, when the hour hand points to seven and the minute hand points to eight, it's 7.40 a.m. In the evening, when the hour hand points to 10 and the minute hand points to five, it's 10.25 p.m. Very simple, right? Let's practice more. What time is it? It's 6.15 a.m. It's time to wake up. What time is it? It's 8.40 a.m. It's time for school. What time is it? It's 6.30 p.m. It's dinner time. What time is it? It's 9.45 p.m. It's time to sleep. I'm sure you get the idea now. Next time, we will discuss more ways to tell times. See you soon!